Hi guys, we're getting a little challenge lock in the vice today. This is built on something which is called a multi lock. The key has a bit of problems going in, but turns around the mechanism seems to work fine. This is called Golden Boy, uh, put together by Lone Wolf Lock Picking in July <coughs> of this year. Check out the bit in. We've got lows in one and two, we've got a high in three and five, and we've got a low in four. Um, going to try pin side tensioning, we're going to try anti-clockwise and see how that leads us. Let's start off with a Euro hook profile. Pin number one gave us like four major clicks there. Nothing on two. Number three. Number three isn't sure what it wants to do. It gave us a click. Nothing on four, nothing on five. Let's come back to the beginning. Number one gave us another couple of clicks. Hopefully he's out the way now. Nothing on two. Number three gave us a click, maybe even a movement on the core, unless I imagine that. I've got some feedback coming from the back of the lock. I think I've got to click out of five. Turn, I've got to click out of two there. Number one. Doesn't want to play anymore. Number two goes to click. I think number one's okay. I'm going to switch out picks. Put an SS dev. Number four seems to be stuck. There's going to be some serrations sticking on some threading, I would have thought. Number one, looks like it's come back up again. That's good, number two's disappeared. Number three, nothing. Number four gave us a bit of a click. Really feels like there's lots of serrations here. Number one gave us a click. Nothing on two. Nothing on three. Four gave us a click. Oh, little movement on the court. So look, where are we, number one? Nothing on two, three, back to number four. Number four is causing us all sorts of problems. There was a click, a bit of a false set going on. Five giving us counter rotation and a click. Back to the beginning. Click out of one, a few clicks out of two, still nothing on three, click on four, click on five, <laughs> there's a damn lot of clicks going on here, click on one, like a threaded lock paradise. Oh, we've got a big false set. Number two's giving us feedback. Hang on. That's all right, it's not open. <laughs> Sometimes these things get jammed, don't they? In your vice. Thinking it's going to be something very low down here that we're, that's holding this up. Yeah, click on four. That was very clicky, wasn't it? I'm expecting lots of uh, threading and lots of uh, serrations. Um, 
let's see what we can do. Alright, um, screwdriver, don't think I've got one. Or of the type of the threaded. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, that was four. It was really, really deep, wasn't it? Some beautiful pins going on here, Ryan. Looks like all of the chambers in the body are threaded as well. Really wouldn't surprise me. With that experience that we just had there with all those clicks. Alright, so we get, can we get any closer? Yeah, go on. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Start off with chamber number one. We've got a key pin with a serration and a, a T pin end. Key pin number two, double serration. Key pin number three is very, very ornate with like a spool function and uh, serrated end, double serration on four, overset trap and serrations on five. Driver number one, very serrated. Driver number two, it looks like a chess piece, all with a nasty T-pin end. See so, yeah, that, very, very pointed. And serrations all over the shop. Number three, serrated pretty much like number one. Number four is another chess piece with a... <laughs> that was a little T-pin end that held us upright at the end there. And I guess the penultimate click that gave us the deep false set must have been pin number two. And number four is heavily serrated spool type pin. Very nice lock actually there. Um, I wasn't very impressed with the body of the lock, the, the old multi-lock name and everything. It looked pretty weak, but some lovely pinning from our friend Ryan. Thanks very much for sending this over. It was a nice little challenge. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, speak soon.